Hey everybody, this is God's Gifts. It's Monday, February 8th. It just crossed over into the 8th day. Okay, so we had this um, Super Bowl and the Lord showed me to look up the numbers and what they mean. And I told a brother in Christ that if the Buccaneers won, that I see that the Lord has shown us death is coming. But for us, it is our time. And, um, about a week, I would say about a week ago, I got the number 22 in a dream. I called Lynn Lott because that's the number she gets. And I usually get 23, the 23rd something to behold. But anyway, I got the 22 and I called her about it. And there happens to be 22 points between these teams. So what I want to show you is what the Lord showed me. Okay, first of all, the score is 9 to 31. So I'm going to show you what all these numbers mean. So the 9, it's a consecrately something lost, a thing that was lost. In Greek, it's Abilene. Abilene is grassy meadows. I'm going to go a little quick because I got a lot to cover. It comes from the um, this uh, G58 at the bottom. And that is an assembly, a place of assembly. Guys, we're going to get ready to be gathered. I know it. The 31 is the other score. It's uh, Ahad, uh, Ahihud. And that is brother of majesty, prince of Asher. Asher means happy. So this is Jesus Christ himself. So in First Chronicles uh, chapter 8, I got to look up this name here and I'm going to show you all about this. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, G31 was the other score. Um, it means a message, an announcement. So there is something coming. And I believe this whole score is the message. Okay. Now 37 comes from, let me back up here. Oh, I wish I would have put another picture in, guys. Sorry. What I did here is I started taking these numbers here and just working my way around Greek and Hebrew. So I'm going to show you what the 37 is. I got to get back over there. Guys, you're not going to believe how incredible this message is. G37, father of dew, fresh, the wife of King David. In Greek, it means to make holy, ceremonially purify or consecrate, sanctify, guys. We're getting sanctified. 314 um, is Western, last, afterwards, latter, and end. 314 in Greek, to know again. I think this is where we are going to know more about where we came from. I think this is where things will open up to us. In Greek, um, it means to read. Uh, it's in Luke 4, 16. And he came to Nazareth, which is the guarded one, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue, a holy place, on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. This is Jesus coming into us and reading to us, showing us his word. Greek three fourteen. It means, have ye not read? It also means, have ye. In other words, do you have his word in him? That's what I was seeing on this. Uh, Hebrews 3.10, after, from, behind, to follow, hinder, end, and remnant. So these are the words that I was seeing here. In Greek, 3.10, it means to cry aloud. What did Jesus do on the cross? He cried out loud. Matthew 27.46, and about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So many people are going to be crying out to God. Then you have this space where there's nothing in the fourth quarter, which I believe is that little space he gave to repent. I believe this is what the Lord is showing us here. 931. Um, this is the last one 
on the total, I guess it's the last last column there, 931, meaning to be thick. These are people who are hard-hearted, cannot seem to comprehend what the Lord is showing them because they haven't repented. 931 Greek, through the notion of going to the bottom, a touchstone, also torture and torment. And I noticed that the, it occurs three times in three verses, 33 Jesus. First Chronicles uh, chapter 8, 3. I'm going to get to that. I think I have one more thing to show you. Yeah, there we go. Game over, folks. The game is about to end. And look at the number, 333, three, three, a triple confirmation of what the Lord is showing us. 333 three, three is maimed. And it also means consider, behold, and there's the 22 that the Lord gave me. I didn't even know anything about this game. It was like he told me to look. I was watching something and he was like showing me to look up these scores. I didn't know if it was over. I texted someone to ask him if it was over. I haven't gotten anything back. So I'm just going with what the Lord showed me. There's the 22 that he told me about. Okay. Um, and then we're back to the nine, which is destruction in Hades, a lost thing okay and it comes from in the greek means abilene and that is david's wife and it's in luke 3 1 and these are the ones who were involved in the crucifixion tiberius caesar pontius pilate and herod so this is what i'm seeing in this now i'm going to try and back out of here and give you those this chronicles because this is amazing guys i don't know how long this is going to be now benjamin which is a son of the right hand begot bella destruction this is jesus coming to destroy his firstborn was a man in god um and the second son was following brother oops i'm sorry i hit the wrong thing and noah which we know is rest and the fourth, Rapha, tall. The sons of Bela, which is destruction, were Adar, glorious, exceedingly glorious. Now, Adar, we're in right now. And Gera, grain. My father is majesty. My father is rescue. Pleasantness. A brother of rest, a grain, a serpent, a noble born. These are the sons of Ehud united. These are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of the hill, and they removed them from rest, pleasantness. My brother or Jehovah, my brother of Jehovah. I'm sorry, I hit the same thing. A grain removed them and begot strength and brother of majesty. Double dawn begot a ch children of the country of their father. And he sent them away to one who makes waste, haste, I'm sorry, brutish were his wives. He begot a new moon. Remember da David and Jonathan in the field? David hid for three days when that new moon came out. So new moon, his wife, the desert, they go in the desert, a row, freedom. A great king, a counselor, an announcement, fraud. These were the sons of the heads of the fathers. Who makes haste? Oops. Who makes haste? My father is goodness. God is maker. The sons of God is maker. 
the region beyond, which are the Israel are the Hebrews. Hebrews means the region from beyond. Purification. Preserved. Vigorous. Travail. With a friend here who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of field of deer and we drove away who drove away the inhabitants of gath the wine press and brotherly or fraternal now i was looking for ohio what ohio meant and this is the closest thing that i could find i can't find anything online i think ohio is actually this brotherly and fraternal longing he is the most high endowment of Jehovah, a wild ass and a flock. Michael, who is like God, he is bare. Jehovah gives life. So those who are bare, God gives them life with a friend. This is all pertaining to Jesus, endowment of Jehovah, our friend, strong, comrade. He keeps me. This is so comforting, guys. Whom God will preserve. Desert. God is maker. He will rise memorable endowment unto god are my eyes dark god is god is god or l is god jehovah has adorned himself jehovah has created guard oops I did that one guard he hides he hides us the region beyond which is the hebrews god is l servile or servant memorable he is merciful god has favored eternity Jehovah answers. Jehovah will redeem. Facing God. Longing. Sun-like. Drawing of Jehovah. Afflicted of the Lord. Whom Jehovah nourishes. My God is Jehovah, which Jehovah means um, the Almighty God. Um, memorable, showing pity. These were the heads of the fathers by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem, teaching of peace. And in Gibeon, the hill city, dwelt the father of the hill, whose wife's name was Pressure. These are people being oppressed. And his firstborn son, Servile, Rock, which is Jesus, Bent, Lord, Generous. Gador is a wall, Brotherly, Remembrance. Sorry guys, this is flashing, this is how I gotta do it. Staves or rods report and these also dwelt with the brethren in Jerusalem the teaching of peace over against them near which is a lamp bent that's us bowing down bent I'm sorry begot Saul which is desire and he begot Jonathan Jehovah has given remember Jonathan and David in the field my king is wealth. My father is noble or my father is willing. 
a man of bile or ball. I don't know how you say that either way, I guess. And that is, let me see if I can find it. Lord. The sons of Jonathan was, Lord is my advocate. Lord is, oops, Lord is my advocate. Who is like God? And the sons of who is like God were harmless. King. Chamber of a neighbor. He has grasped. He has grasped. Jehovah has adorned. Jehovah has adorned begot the covering strong unto death my music which is rejoicing in the Lord my music begot the fountain and the fountain begot another fountain tall was his son God has made his son reserved and his son reserved, whose names are these, help against the enemy. This gets good. Firstborn, oops, firstborn, God will hear, valued by Jehovah, servant of Jehovah. He is merciful. Oops, sorry. All these were the sons of the reserved, or the remnant. And the sons of the oppressor, his brother was the leader, their leader. His firstborn was, he hurries to aid. The second was, God is deliverance. And the third, oops, I'm sorry, the third was that. Uh, and the sons of their leader were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons and sons of sons and hundreds and fifties. And all these are of the sons of Benjamin, which is the son of the right hand. Guys, I pray that you're blessed. This is a definite message from the Lord that that game that was played was for a reason for us to know that our redemption is drawing nigh. I pray you're blessed I love you all. There's the Lord is trying to let us know how close we are. And this was a clear sign. And I wanted to tell you something. I didn't put up a video because I, I wanted to wait, but the Lord is showing me that these, every one of these Super Bowls are showing us what will happen in the future. And I'm trying to look this stuff up, what I need to get together for you. And I pray that I'm able to do it. Who knows, guys? We're very close. I pray you're blessed. This is God's gifts. Much love to you all, family. We are headed home. If you are not saved, get saved today. Lord Jesus, may you bless this message for my brethren. Father, I thank you for all that you have shown us. Father, we love serving you, and we pray, Father, that we serve you to the very end. May you bless us, Lord God, to be your servants, to show people, Lord God, that your son is the only way out of here. There is nothing they can do to survive this without you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. May you bless each and every one of my brethren. Father, may you watch over those who are in the deepest, darkest places. Father, may you pull them out and bless them, Father God, to be covered under your wings of protection. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you have led us to. May we all be watching, waiting, and ready. And Father, I just pray that we are worthy to escape these things that are coming upon the earth. May you bless each and every ear. Father, thank you for using us. Thank you for the watchmen who are standing up. And Lord God, we just pray that we have all, Lord, we just have all been blessed to walk this journey. It has been hard and it has been a blessing. And Lord God, we just thank you for every step. May you be with us. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray this. Family, I love you. 
I don't know how many more messages we got, but they are really, really coming down to the wire. God bless you all.